back. All right, we have breaking news tonight. Representative Bradley Byrne announced he's running for Senate in 2020. Congressman Byrne live from Wenzel's tonight and joins us live. Congressman, we have talked on many occasions about your possible run for Senate. What can you accomplish there that you could not accomplish in the House? Well, let me tell you this. In the United States Senate, you're one of 100 people. Each state only has two. So a senator has more power than the House member has. But more importantly, I'm concerned that the senator we have in the seat that's up next year is not reflecting Alabama values. He's not voting the way I think most Alabamians want him to vote. We need somebody that's going to go up there and fight for Alabama, fight for our values, and fight for our interests. I don't think we have that now, and I think I can bring that to that position. A congressman, uh, we've got word that uh, possibly state auditor Jim Ziegler and maybe even former governor uh, Robert Bentley are considering running against you. I don't care who's running against me. I'm going to run my campaign. Other people are going to run their campaign. So we've got a campaign to run here. We know what we want to do. We're going to go all over the state of Alabama and talk with people and listen to people about the values that they care about so we can bring those values to Washington. Whatever anybody else does to the campaign, that's their business. Congressman, uh, obviously Senator Doug Jones uh, was ready with a release as soon as you announced that you were running for Senate, saying that uh, given the results of your losing bid for governor in 2010 and uh, your lack of the Republican nomination, it's hard to see why you would be running now that you're part of the problem in Washington as a career politician. Your response. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm laughing at what Senator Jones is saying. Because Senator Jones simply doesn't match up with people of the state of Alabama. He's for abortion. He's for gun control. He's against the wall. He's against President Trump. The people of Alabama are going to reject him in 2020. And he can throw all that kind of superficial nonsense out there that people just think is phony. People don't want phony. They want people going to stand up and fight for them, and I'm going to do that. Okay, Congressman, thank you. I'm sure we're going to hear more from you later, too. Thank you. Well, the state auditor, Jim Ziegler, as we said, is exploring a run against Congressman Byrne. He says he'll make a decision by November, but says so far he's getting a positive response. Ziegler says Alabama needs a watchman in Washington. Political analyst Quinn Hillier is no stranger to Representative Bradley Byrne. Today we caught up with him asking what he thinks about the congressman's run for Senate in 2020. As for Bradley Byrne, he goes in as at least a mild betting favorite. Uh, Bradley Byrne has run statewide before. He's got good name ID and in four levels of government and in civic life outside of government, he's proven to be a conservative reformer. Hillier says other than Congressman Byrne, State Senator Del Marsh could be another contender. Well, following Mr. Byrne's announcement, as we said, Senator Doug Jones released a statement saying in part, given the result of his losing bid for governor in 2010, in which he did not even win the Republican nomination, it's hard to see why they would nominate a career politician like Bradley Byrne now. He has been part of the problem in Washington for years. Uh, to read Senator Jones' full statement, head on to our website, mynbc15.com.